The bison are coming back to the National Zoo for our 125th anniversary. They were one of the first animals here at the National Zoo, and they have an extraordinary conservation message. They were basically brought back from extinction thanks to zoos and dedicated staff. The two bison that we have here at the National Zoo are wonderful, extraordinary animals. They're two young cows. They're about a year old now. They're big. They've got horns. They are shaggy during the winter. They're just cool animals. They interact. The bison have been doing phenomenal. They really adapted very well to their habitat and to their keepers and most importantly to the public. They can actually hear them very well so they actually have been they acclimated very well to the sounds and of course next door we have a little popcorn machine so I think it bothers us more because it makes us hungry but for them it doesn't really bother them at all. The way we began creating this exhibit was to get everybody, our, our architects, our designers, our animal staff came together and we brainstormed and pulled it all together and now what we have is this wonderful little habitat that has a shade structure so the bison can be out here on, on exhibit all the time. We have a water feature, uh, a water that they can actually drink in the exhibit. Their brand new yard has fresh grass on it, the Bermuda grass, and they really, really love that Bermuda grass a lot too. We partitioned the yard into thirds. So we first started a third of the yard, so they got a chance to go out there and explore their habitat. And then we brought them back in. We gave them about an hour to two hours opportunity to be out there in the grass. We didn't want to leave them out there too long because that grass is fresh and we don't want them eating that completely and upsetting their GI tract. So we only left them out for, two, for about an hour the first day, the second day a little bit more than an hour. And as time goes by, we're basically giving them the whole run of the whole yard until they can be out all the time. One of the things that bison do is they have wallows. They either have dust baths as wallows or they have mud baths as wallows. They, they just, what they'll do is they often will get into a wallow and roll around and get a coating of mud or dust and that helps with parasites as well as help keep them cool. We did not design one into this exhibit because we wanted them to pick the location. So once that happens, once they pick a spot, and they'll, they'll be very distinct about that. They'll be very focused on one spot and they'll start looking at that spot and, and rolling around in it. And then we can come back in and add some, some water and some dirt and make that a true mud wallow for them. Part of what our keepers do here is we train our animals. If they're shifting to a new pen, coming over for a, maybe even a blood draw, actually medical procedures, um, getting them to turn around so we can see both sides of them uh, in a short time. Just getting, we, we build that relationship and that's what training does. So obviously food's gonna be a really good positive reinforcer and then of course verbal reinforcements are also very well. And just getting used to us every day, being around us, hearing our voices, and, and having that, that bond with them every day really does help with the whole training process. They were literally almost hunted out of existence for many, many reasons. So they are really a good example of what we can do when a lot, when individuals or a group of people can come together and ensure that a species does not go extinct. Even though there were millions at one point, we are back up to hundreds of thousands of bison in the world, which is a great, great thing. Seeing bison that have such a great history here at the zoo, have a, such a great connection with the American people um, on all aspects. And I think it's just, it's gonna be a hit. It's just totally gonna be a hit with our, with our visitors.